Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a new video today. It's an updated flip through and just kind of planner chat um, of my main pocket planner, which is my uh, VDS TM Noir pocket planner with 25 millimeter rings. This is really my only planner. It's my main planner. I'm a one planner kind of person. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'm just going to say that ahead of time. And I hope that this time the uh, lighting is better. I did not use my um, regular kitchen lights or, or um, living room lights. So I turned them off and I'm just using natural sunlight and I'm sitting next to the window. So hopefully that's better. So anyways, let's get into it and ignore my awkward self. I'm not very poised or eloquent and all those things, but I just wanted to chat about my planner. So it's the same planner as my old video that um, I posted a couple weeks ago and I just kind of changed a few things. I got new dividers since then, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys. So I changed the little clip on my zipper pull. This is a Monstera uh, charm from Three Glitter Peas, and I love it. It's so cute. It actually originally came on a paper clip, kind of like this, on a paper clip like this, but I just took it off and put it on a lobster clasp and then put it on my zipper, because I think it looks super cute. I do change this out um, every so often whenever I feel like it. I have multiple charms that I've turned into lobster clasp charms for that purpose. So um, I recently have gotten have gone task card crazy. <laughs> so I made some new task cards, just updated my old ones, and I think these turned out so cute. They're on the Cat's Presso Co. Um, plastic cards and I used page flags from Poi and Hun. These are from Poi and Hun and then for this one I used some from Top Paper Co. These are just a little bit wider and I just used my label maker to put the words on there and the stickers are transparent stickers from Top Paper Co. and then these leopard ones are from Liz Q Studio and then um, these labels here stickers are from Queen City Designs that I had left over so that's what I have over here. I actually use them all the time. I, I think they look adorable, but they are also super functional, so I really like that. And then this is a new um, little heart magnetic clip thing from Three Glitter Peas. I do have a discount code with her. All three of these items are from her shop, and my code is Karen20. Yes, I'm going to double check and put it in the <laughs> description box. So anyways, um, my flyleaf is still on here with the same clip that hasn't changed. Um, in this vinyl Cat's Presso Co. Dash pocket, I put another task card that I made in here. And these little butterfly and star stickers are just a vinyl that I made. This pen loop is from Letty on um, Instagram. And she made that. And I just put it on here because I like having my pen and my highlighter with me at all times. So it works perfectly. This is a dashboard from my shop. I recently changed this out. Um, I had the... Hello, or not Hello Winter, this is the one that's in there. The, um, uh, oh my goodness, I'm blanking. <laughs> sweater weather, the sweater weather, weather one I changed out for this one. The minute it hit December, I'm like, I want my snowflake in there. So this is one of the new, new things in my planner. These little cover pages are from um, JesseniaPrintables.com. And I really like these. They're so minimal, but they're so cute. Like the little details, the little number, and like the little... I just, I love them. They're so cute. So I put them all over my planner. That's one of the new stuff. This is also new from the last time I did my flip on here. This is from my shop. It's a Vellum 2021 Roman numeral dash. And on the back, it has this super cool glittery material. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. So it like pops through um, on the cutouts here. And I think it looks super cute. Um, I currently have my shop closed, but I will be reopening in probably a couple weeks or around there. So <clears throat> anyways, a lot of this hasn't changed, so I'm not going to go through every single item. I can't remember if this was in my planner last time, but this is from Cloth and Paper for 2021. Um, this is an acetate from Sparkly Paper Co. that I've had for a while. I did add my son's school calendar in here. I just downloaded it. And then just kind of toyed with the um, size. I just um, decreased the scale percentage. You know how it normally says like 100%? I think I did like, I think it was like 45%. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. But I just, just got to play with it. And then 
I just stuck it in here. This is also one of the new dashboards from my shop. It just says, just like magic, it's inspired by Ariana Grande song. <laughs> and then, so everything else is the same. I did add this little jelly dashboard thing. Um, you can actually get a pack of these star jelly uh, material things on Amazon and it comes with a whole bunch of colors. So that's where I got that from. And then I got new dividers. So I wanted to try out Hannah's new material in her shop, Caffeine and Paper Co. These are her new like thin plastic transparent dividers. And oh my goodness, they're so soft and they're so like sturdy and I love them. Like I'm obsessed. Like I wish I had that material to make dividers because I would make all my dividers this material. <laughs> So those are super cool. I love them. So I named my top, my sections List It, Plan It. So List It's for my list, Plan It's for like my dailies. Schedule It is for my uh, like monthly calendar and weeklies. And then I have a Track It section for my trackers. Work It is for my work stuff, so my Etsy shop. And then the last one is just Note It. So I wanted to make them look super cohesive and I thought those sounded good. So I went with those labels or words, whatever. And then this <clears throat> is a vellum dashboard from uh, Cloth and Paper. It's actually a, it was a mini happy planner dashboard that said inbox at the top. And these were the icons in the lower right corner, but I don't use mini happy planner anymore. So I actually just cut it down and saved this part because I thought it was cute. <laughs> So it's just my inbox section that hasn't changed. I think I showed you guys this last time from Poi and Han. Um, and I've had this acetate from Planner Press in here for a while. And I just thought it looked super cute layered on top of the um, cover, this page from um, Just Any of the Printables. It's just so cute. And under or on top of this one, this is pink. So all of these are transparent, but on top of them, on top of, I can't talk today, guys. Ignore me. On top of this vellum, it's pink now, so I like it. <laughs> and anyways, my list section is just random projects, things I need to do, songs I like, um, nail colors that I wanna get, cause I'm totally into dip nails now, dip powder. You see my Manny there? <laughs> um, so yeah, just random notes and stuff, mainly just lists. And these also come with like a back side um, cover page. So I think that was pretty cool. This is a dashboard that I made inspired by, oh, what's her name? I think she's planning NP, the planning NP on Instagram. She sells a dashboard that says unbothered on it in a very thin, dainty font. And I really liked it. So I just made one for myself or similar to hers. Um, and then this is from Queen City Designs Co. Um, I did recently get some vellum sticky notes from Top Paper Co, which is what this is. I've been wanting to try printing on them, but I just haven't had time, but they are super cool. So then I just have my dailies, which I've shown you guys in the past, but they're the dailies from Cloth and Paper. Unfortunately, they no longer have this design for next year, but um, I am just using up the ones that I have for this month, and then we will see what I'll do for next year, which sucks, because I really like those, and I like that they're dates. Um, and then this is a dashboard that I made inspired by Liz over at Liz Q Studio. I just love the super thin font, but I will not be making this again because my machine does not like the thin cuts. <laughs> this was a struggle. <laughs> and then I just added these back in. I used to have these in my planner. They're just little vellum um, prints with some um, sprocket pictures printed out and stuck on them. So I thought those were cute. I just decided to put whatever the hell I want in my planner. So <laughs> over here, I just have the December clear card from the Cloth and Paper sub box. This is from Sparkly Paper Co. Another one of those cover pages. This was just an image on Pinterest that I printed. Um, this was my November monthly. And then these are transparent sticky notes from Poi and Hun. I love the color of those. And then this is December, so I still use the same page marker from Fox and Pip, and these little tiny square transparent page flags are so cute. They're from uh, Cloth and Paper. I just got both of these in the sub boxes, and I think they're perfect for writing down like um, tentative plans and then sticking it over like the days that those plans may occur, and I just think it works out good. 
So then I've been trying some different um, weeklies and I don't really want weeklies for like jotting down to do's every day. I just want them mainly to, to have like an overview of the week. And so I've been trying a couple. This is from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And I am trying to print on pre-punched and pre-cut paper. So that's why there's like this weird space at the top because technically my printer can't print on anything smaller than uh, 3.5 by 5 size paper, but I don't use that, which is pocket plus, but I don't use that size. I use regular pocket. So I just put down that size as if my paper was that size. Um, but because of that, there's this space because the printer thinks my paper is bigger than what it is, but I don't mind it. It saves me time on cutting and punching. So I'd rather take that than, than having to do all that. So this particular weekly is from Peanuts Planner Co. I believe this is a freebie in her Facebook group. So what I do is I have these dividers for my shop here. And what I do is I put the um, page flags or task flat, yeah, page box <laughs> on this divider on the week that I need to get those certain tasks done. I was putting them in my dailies, but I actually prefer it this way because then I just have all of the space for writing appointments and to do's. And then these don't like take up room on my dailies anymore because now I have them on my weekly. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have allergies. So yeah, so a lot of people are, are familiar with the task card system, but if you're not and you're interested in finding out, there's a lot of good videos here on YouTube, but basically what I do is I just made these with certain tasks that I do repetitively, and whenever that time, um, whenever I know that, oh, like next week, I need to definitely mop the floors, then I will stick it on my little divider that's in my weekly section. And then once I do those tasks, then I will take them off and put them back on the card, put them back in the pocket and just keep doing that. So, and I've been doing the same thing with my bills. So I've been putting them in my weeklies too. And I like that more than putting them in my dailies. So I know that next week I have two bills due on Monday because I have my page flags there. And then I just went ahead and like um, forward planned my bills and just stuck them on the respective days that they're due. So, so yeah, I've been really liking this for that so far um, and I'll also put like appointments on here or like kind of just bigger events rather than like to do's or like you know like breakfast lunch you know because there's not that much space so it's nice just to have like a big overview of the week and after that um there's just some more monthlies for next year so i am planning on using this planner for next year the same setup i may get like new inserts but otherwise it's basically just gonna stay the same this is a dashboard for my shop too and just a random vellum so this is my track it section so trackers and I have various trackers that I've shown before, but um, I really mainly, I have a bunch of blank ones because I just have ready for next year, but I mainly use this section for my monthly and daily habit tracking. So like this is my cleaning and mood tracker for November that's completed. And I absolutely love how it looks when it's done with these little dots that I make with this guy, the Zig uh, Clean Color Dot Marker. Which, if you go on Amazon, you can actually get a set of them. This one I bought individually, but you can get a set of like some brighter colors um, on Amazon. However, they are pricey. They're like $30. <laughs> uh, so anyways. Um, so yeah, and then I have my other tracker. By the way, this file that you buy, if you buy it from Desenia Printables, it comes with like 90 different like words or labels or sections for you to use so it is such a good deal i love it i highly recommend it this is my other tracker i use this more for like um self-care and stuff that has to do with my son don't judge me on how bad i did okay and then this was for tracking my steps however i lost the charger to my watch but i've now found it which is good but so that's why i didn't continue tracking my steps but as you can see i was not doing very good at all like at all I'm gonna work on that see that's why trackers are, are nice because then you can realize oh my god I don't really walk or run or do anything I need to work on that so then you can like focus on that on your next month so so I have that set up for December and so I changed a few things um, on there that I have my bills tracker just anything that has to do with tracking anything is in this section this is a vellum dashboard from Lucy Plans Life 
My next section, next section, bleh, I can't talk, is my work it section, which is my shop section. And I just have reference notes and then some financial stuff regarding my shop that I don't really want to show. So I just paper clipped it all together. Um, and then the last section is, let me turn the page here. Um, my, well, no, not last second to last, but this is kind of like a subsection. It's my little um, Animal Crossing section. I made this recently. And that's the name of my island, Lily Cove. These are fun. These are from um, Queen City Designs Co., her printable shop. My last section is the noted section, which is just notes. Um, here I have, I love the layering here. I have just um, passwords, contacts, and like um, personal notes, so I don't want to show those either. I just have them paper clipped with this super cute, fuzzy pink heart from Three Glitter Peas. I love it. And that is it. Um, there's the back cover page to that. This is a um, page lifter from Plan Hunt too, just in case you were wondering. And then back here I just have more stickers from um, Caffeine and Paper Co., Top Paper Co. I recently got these cute little tiny dot stickers from Peachy Plans in different colorways and I think they're adorable. And they're the perfect size to fit back here. So yeah that is it so i am going to continue using this planner for 2021 um this size um, i keep hopping back and forth between this and my personal but i just i want to have one planner i've tried to use multiple planners it doesn't work i don't like it i like having everything in one planner so i am gonna stick to this one at least that's my goal i mean i may change out like the color or like the the cover but like the size and the setup will remain the same with the addition of a memory keeper which is gonna be my hobo weeks so i got this uh 2021 hobo weeks and i have a um where is this from print pression cover on it it was too tall because i forgot that the print pression um planners are a little bit taller than the hobo week so I just trimmed the top of it <laughs> and it works just fine so this is what I'm using for my memory keeping um so I've just been this I've, it's only a few days into December but I'm excited to use this I want to I'm planning on putting like polaroids and like pictures on this side and then like my daily entry over here on the left so so yeah this is my setup for 2021 these two planners um i did recently set up a tiny little micro hp just for fun but quite frankly i don't need this and i'm probably not going to use this i actually haven't used it <laughs> since i set it up i just can't get rid of it though because it's so cute i actually messed up the, on the cover i trimmed this um cloth and paper glass plastic cover down to micro size but i messed up on the dimensions so it looks a little funky but i still think it's really cute i love the way it looks but i just i don't i don't know this is my main planner this was just for fun i'm probably not gonna use this very much at all but yeah that is it um, I do have discount codes to a couple of shops. I will link those down below if you're interested. And if you have any questions at all regarding my setup or where I got something or something I may have missed, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this chatty planner flip and let me know um, if you want to see any other videos from me and if so, what do you want to see other than flips? Um, but yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.